Everyone aged as we fell down. Oh dear, what the heck? Whoa! I don't want to get eaten. These enemies, I swear, they're getting more and more crazy. Sea Let's beast meat. This. You know what? I'll take that. We're running low on stamina. Don't have a chance to cook it. it though. Shit, what the hell do we do now? We're stuck. Whoa! Someone's taking damage over there. Probably walked on one of those electrical traps. I think we need to walk on them to get out of this area. Okay, we've cleared that all out. We need this, right? Found it! Must have had food in it. A crusty black substance is caked onto it. We just need to find a way out. There's something here. It says dangerous areas can be forts when fighting enemies. Hmm. I think that's the way back. Let's mark it on the map. Could it be? Yeah, it is. Found it! Critical fishing magazine. Fish favors creeks is barely legible. Looks like there's nothing here right now. We've got a fishing spot as well. Uh-oh, Sachika's Cleone's in danger. That's not a good sign. Right, quick consultation of the guide. She's on danger zone. We can't reverse the fact that she's in danger zone, so we just need to make sure we don't use the Cleone. Got it! Does this look it useful? shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'll take it. I don't think. Because huh? I hardly use it anyways. So there's the wall. What's this? A wine bottle. May have been quite the vintage item if it wasn't empty. Okay, I think we've pretty much filled in all the blanks unless there's something on this side, so let's go check that out. Alright, of course, there was stuff on this side, but I can't advance because it's all electrified. Uh, I'm not going to take the chance of going beyond that. I'm going to head back and see what was upstairs. Uh, we all need to run through this. That's the best way. I can run straight ahead. That gets me through two tiles. Well. Somehow it didn't take any damage. Fantastic. Okay. God, talk about running the gauntlet. Alright, this time let's actually not clumsily fall down a big hole. That'd be great. Oh, we got gerbils again. <laughs> Clear the path. Now, which way was it? Was it back this way? We're not lost, nope, it was more towards the middle. There's the big hole on the map where we fell. Like an absolute dunce. Okay. Now... What do we got around here? Another gerbil. Almost backed into the hole. Okay. Oh, switch. What does that do? Where are we? So it closes our door but opens the other one. There's a pedestal here. That closes this door and opens this one. Nowhere to go on this side. Holes everywhere. What was that? Watch out! <laughs> was that the gerbil trying to spit a rock at me? Let's take this. Okay, and then back here. Also dead ends. Apart from the switch. What's this? It says throw it here. Throw what here? Like so. Now then we just locked in. Unless maybe we can throw it across the hole? Can we even do that? I'll hold it. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Like that? Ah, I see, I see. Okay. Oh, this hole's been covered up. Good, good. Okay, progress. A gerbil. Oh, shit. Walked into that one. Jeez, almost lost the bet. <laughs> Zen is almost dead. And Sachik is gone. Oh, I can't lose. The house can't lose this bet. Okay, what is the switch? What does it do? Let's look around, make sure we don't get ambushed. What do we got here? A car. Boy, the Bella Moi. Was it transporting vehicle cargo? I'm moving it. You hear machine like noises from far away. Okay. That door's oh, not opening. There it is. The cargo room's inventory list with things like passengers' cars on it. Right. Only one left, it seems. Let's keep looking. Is it edible? An engine manual. It could be useful if the ship wasn't split into two. Yep, that sounds about right. Uh, any way to open this door? What is this? The letters are too faded to read. Okay, these holes are closed, which is nice. With machine noises shut down from far away, I'm gonna check if the uh, electrical currents have disappeared. Here's hoping they have. Then we can maneuver safely. 
All right, basically everyone's an old person. Except for uh, Mamoru. Nope, electricity still on. That wasn't the right call. Let's head back. Ow! Okay, so this door's open now. So we can move on now that that hole's been covered. What have we got in here? Oh shit. Hey! Okay, trap doors. Make sure we don't What's fall in. This? It says proceed with caution. Found it! It's the ship's spec sheet. According to this, the ship is enormous. Well, jeez. Didn't need a spec sheet to tell me that. You can see it from outside. Okay. Let's press it again. Okay. Let's just move one step at a time. <laughs> Landed on an electrical floor. Not good, not good. I don't know if I'm gonna get lucky getting out of this again. Good. What's not good is there's a big freaking shark in front of me. Good. He moved, so I moved forward. Stop. I'm dying. Maybe this will come in here. Okay, those little piglets, man. I'll hold it. Getting to be the end of me. This will come in. Useful. Need to lighten well, the load. Everyone's getting older anyway, so maybe it's a good time to retreat. All right, let's find our way back to Garage Island safely. Okay, I basically reset the entire party. Everyone is back to being a kid. I figured this is the best bit of activating that adult-only um, scene by the beach. And, and by adult-only, I mean everyone has to be adults, not that it's R18 or anything. I'll pick it up. So let's I'm pick everything up again. Fortunately, everyone is nice. kids again, which means their attack capabilities are rather weakened, especially in terms of weaponry. So I might need Sachika to lead from the front. And then I'll hold that. we'll have a snooze, get our uh, buffs from sleeping together. Then head into the Bellamar, get as far as we can there, and once we're adults, we're gonna head back to the beach, because no one's gonna die, right? Let's try this again, shall we? So we stand here. Okay, so it looks like if there's an open hole, it'll open. If there is no hole, it'll close, like so. I think what happened is once I stood here, that fell down. Sorry, no, I stood over there, but in any case, I'm about to run into the same problem if I stand here. That floor will collapse, the floor I'm standing on will collapse, and I've got nowhere to go. So I think what our move is, is to go on this one, because that will at least open up. Like so. Good, that gives me a path. I should have a path here. And that path behind me falls backwards. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's try going here. There's a lever there, I see. What's this switch? Here goes nothing! I hear a door open. Okay, good. Um, go back this way. Here. Is that the door there? Stand here. If I stand here, that's gonna disable. But I can at least come this way, right? Nope. Okay, at least I've got an out here. And I can stand on this. Okay, I'm moving here. Alright, that's going to be locked. Won't budge. It's closed, huh? A stuffed pig doll is in a trash bag, covered in raw garbage. Indeed, we've got some shoes. Another hole on the ground. Got it! I've already used my rope to descend. Found something! It says place a rope by the hole to climb down safely. Well shit, I've just used my rope. I don't think I've got any left. No, I had to I had to descend to make the most of that lever. We may have to jump down, boys and girls. It's fine, we won't take that much damage, right? Here goes nothing. All right, nobody die. We're not allowed to die. You all have to be adults at the same time. Very strict policy on that. <laughs> okay. Minimal damage. Yuma took a bit of a beating. Uh-oh. 
Okay, we've got some room to maneuver in this corner at the very least. So let's take care of this shark and then we can rest a little bit. Oh, lizard as well. Whoa, damaged each other. Poisoned the shark. Didn't think I'd have to deal with you guys again. Hey, don't you go running off. Okay, got a gap over there, but that's fine. Let's take this moment to rest. We've got some sea beast meat, so that can help us with our recovery. We got some empty bottles. A ladder here, interesting. Time to check the map. Wonder where that leads. We have no idea what's on that floor just yet. Okay, let's rest. Alright, that wasn't so bad. I mean I could have healed with the Cleone, but I prefer to keep it, you know, as a last resort, so to speak. Something shiny over there. Let's explore this entire floor before we climb up that ladder, I think. Might be a good idea. Ah, another Extend TV. It's been a while since I found that episode. Or another episode. Whoa! Uh, this way is blocked. Is this like a date-linked wall, perhaps? I'm not quite sure what the cause of that is. Let's have a look! It sure is. This will be the fourth conquest video, huh? Fourth one already, jeez. Hopefully we get a good hint sometime soon. Feels like I haven't done much progress in terms of the Bellamois, just a lot of backtracking from falling down these holes, but... If not, we'll need fan service to keep us interested. Like bikinis or a striptease, you know? Goodness me. You need to pretend to care even if you lose interest. Be a professional, show. Yes, yeah, show. that's what professionals do. We pretend to care about life. Honestly, sometimes I can't even believe I have to act professional. Now, the title for today's episode is Gluttony Part 3, The Forbidden Fruit. I thought so. I thought it was only Part 3. I was like, man, we've made a lot of progress, but it doesn't feel like it. Okay, Part 3. Wow, that sounds like an obvious bait. <laughs> what, are you tempting women now? Let's check it out. Here we go. Yuma, where are you going? I apologize for waking you. I will return to my room now. I have an exam tomorrow. The head of Mashiro is finally back, and you're going to leave him all alone in his room? I did not mean to. <laughs> I kid. In any case, you're becoming more and more like moi. You look exactly like her from behind. Thank you for uh, clarifying the pronunciation. You seem to be in a good mood, father. I don't like where this is going. Is it that obvious? I recently had some good news. You know of Mani, don't you? The nanotechnology research facility that was started several years ago. I have heard they primarily focus on nanomachine research for medical use. Indeed. The research has been stuck at a roadblock for quite some time now. But recently, a certain country interested in our research agreed to assist us with their technology. By analyzing their technology, we can make several years' worth of advancement in nanomachine research. That is wonderful news. Oh, that's not all. If this goes well, it'll pave the way to a breakthrough in another project. Another project? It's top secret, but... I suppose you should know about it. Regeneration through the use of nanomachines. That's the other project Mani has been researching. In fact... You could say that is the main objective. All other research is done to advance this project. In other words, human cloning. Whoa, that thing went silent real fast. Cloning. If this research becomes realized, I could create as many copies of myself as I wished. I mean, not gonna lie, sometimes I feel like that's what it takes for me to get things done in my office or before in project, in group project work. Think of university, right? You're doing like a lot of the work. There's always that one person slacking off. There's always that one person trying to get everyone together to get everything done. And you're just like, man, I'm doing all the work here. I just want to clone myself. And so we can get everything done. It's essentially immortality. And it will all be under our management in the near future. Mashiro Group will be handling human cloning as a business venture. Are you really conducting such research? We've already succeeded at creating a clone child with the same genetic code as the original. <laughs> Though I can't introduce you two for obvious reasons. I see. The biggest hurdle is the transference of their memories, but 
Now, what's that look for? You seem like you have objections. Do you not realize Mashiro Group is about to become the pioneer of human cloning? The president's decisions are absolute. The Mashiro family must obey him. That is what mother taught me, but... I am... opposed to this business of human cloning. Explain yourself. To infinitely create replacements of people is a sacrilege of human life. Sacrilege? A pointless argument based on emotions. That is not how our Mashiro thinks. Then what if... If there was a clone of me, would you no longer need me? <laughs> I was surprised you talked back to me, but this... This stems from jealousy for your own clone? N n no. <laughs> Don't you worry. You're my lovely little doll. And my precious daughter. A doll. But even my beloved daughter cannot convince me to change my plans for the cloning business. The President's will is the will of Mashiro. Mashiro Group will endeavor to make it a reality. This will never change. Do you understand, Yuma? If you do, then come here. Yes, I am a doll. That is why my father needs me. Oh dear. Because I am a doll shaped like my mother. It feels like she's brainwashed. Yes, father. I will obey and support the president as the daughter of Mashiro. Because that is my mother's wish. Yes, good girl. As expected of my lovely daughter. Oh my. What a relationship. They still sleep together, they even, still though sleep together even though she's all grown she's up. She's so close with her father. Yeah. Too close. Maybe a little too close. What's wrong with family being intimate? It sounds wrong when you say it. Anyway, I'm surprised Yuma's dad was involved in clone research. Wait. Could it be that the person who invented the Extend machine is... I mean, I figured that was kind of a given <laughs> at this point. <laughs> I told you in the beginning, didn't I? The Extend machine is a gift from God. Well, please don't tell me we're calling Rangy a god now. Really? You're going with that angle again? Come on now. <laughs> Maybe it was a present from Santa? My dad was the kind of jerk that would fill my stockings with puke on Christmas Eve. Well, maybe you deserved it. I don't know. We can't all stay starry-eyed children forever. <laughs> well, I guess you had to grow up fast when your stockings were filled with puke. Oh, sorry for making you share another episode with your scumbag dad. For all I know, Sho poisoned the cookies and his dad had to vomit it out onto the stocking. I didn't want to ruin the fantasy for them, but they must have figured it out by now. Yeah. The Extend Machine was built by scientists in a laboratory known as Mani! Mm-hmm. What? Really? Yeah. Who did you think made it? I totally thought it was made by that rich and fashionable model! <laughs> You're still a starry-eyed boy if you think it could be made DIY. Well then, it's time to introduce our sponsors and say goodbye! You guys are sponsored? Okay, show. Ready? This program is brought to you by the following sponsors. <laughs> Mashiro Nanomachine Institute. So that's what money stands hey. for. Wait, Yuma, where are you going? We need an explanation. Rio stands in front of me as I try to quickly walk in front of the group. <laughs> just imagine her just like shuffling along, just like, I gotta get out of here. And then Haruto and the others catch up to us. Don't tell me. Yuma, what was that? Have you known the truth about Mani and what happened to our bodies from the start? No. Please, Yuma, talk to us. Were we really turned into human clones by Yamashiro group? The group falls silent, and seven sets of eyes pierce through me. I knew this would come to light eventually, but this makes my mission much harder to execute. Damn you for stepping in my way, Extend TV. <laughs> I mentally touch my tongue and decide to answer with the reply I had thought up along the way. Yes. Mani is the company Mashiro Group built up for medical nanotechnology research. The name comes from the initials of Mashiro Nanotechnology Institute. I am sure some of you have heard of it, even if you do not recognize the logo or abbreviation. It was in the news several years ago when Mashiro Group built an underwater research facility. An underwater research facility? Now that you mention it, I may have heard about that. True. Me too. It was all over TV and newspapers at the time. But they refused any interviews on the matter. 
so people eventually stop talking about it. Besides... Just as you heard on Extend TV, Mani was secretly conducting clone research. The Extend machine must have been made by Mani as well. Hmm? You must have? You say that like you didn't know about the existence of the Extend machine. Yes. Even I was not told everything about it. I do not know what happened to the research, or how far it went. I decide to answer any questions truthfully. Since I do not know what will be shown in the next extended TV episode, it is pointless to lie. Yeah, at this point, the gig is up. My mission is one thing that must be kept secret from them. If they are unaware, I still have a chance. Huh? So did those Mani people bring us to Garage Island and turn us to clones then? I don't know. As I said, I do not know. I only know Mashiro Group was involved in clone research as one of its business ventures. Wait. Wait a minute. We can't just accept that I don't know was an answer for everything. I Thanks. cannot help with what I do not know. I, do, I woke up and found myself on the island like the rest of you. It was when Haruto Higurashi was cloned for the first time that I put the pieces together. No. How do we know you're telling the truth? Hey. Well, we got her side of the story, so why don't we move on? Hmm? Zen, what are you doing? No, no, no. I could ask you the same. I thought you didn't want us to needlessly suspect each other. No. We're not talking about baseless suspicions here. Yuma turned out to be the liar among us, just like you said! <laughs> Maybe. But that doesn't necessarily mean she's our enemy. However... Either way, it seems clear that Mashiro Group is involved somehow. I'm telling you. Then why is she getting exposed with these harassment videos like the rest of us? Even if she freely did it to avoid suspicion, she didn't have to reveal Mashiro Group's involvement. That's true. I agree. And the content of the video was basically child abuse from her parents. It must have hurt her to relieve her past like that. Uh-huh. You're right. Sorry, Yuma. We shouldn't have been so harsh on you after you had to watch that. Yeah! I trust you, Yuma. You're our friend. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Still, I'm sorry. Sachika and her circumstances a bit suspicious. That line of questioning was lacking in love. Let's give her 200 squats worth of apologies, Haruto. Huh? <laughs> 200 squats? Yeah. Wait, what? Are we actually going to do that? It seems I made it out somehow. Perhaps I have Zen Kubota to thank, though I do not understand what he is thinking. I still have a chance, but I do not have much time left. I must think of a way. A way to exterminate us, all of us at once. Let's go! We should go. This ship could sink any minute due to my massive weight. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you're a kid, so it's, it's fine for now. Your jokes aren't funny at all, Yuma. Come on now. Then why are you laughing? Rinko Susukino's words echo in my head. Abuse. What abuse? It was exactly what my father and I both wanted. Yeah, about that. I had wished to become a substitute for my mother and support Renji Mashiro. That is why I gained weight, changed my clothes, and tried being my mother in both body and mind. Wait, that's why you gained weight? And changed your clothes and your style? Because you were trying to emulate your body. You were trying to basically clone your mother. The old-fashioned way of just, you know, gaining weight, changing your clothes, changing your appearance. More than anyone, I had to set an example of obedience for the president of Mashiro. That was my mother's wish, and my pride as a Mashiro. I can see how why gluttony may be your sin, putting on weight just to emulate the style of your mother so you can have a intimate relationship with your father. That was what made father smile and made me happy. Rinko Susukino's words are nothing more than those of a commoner who cannot comprehend Mashiro's pride. So why? Why do they irritate me so? Hmm. Well, well, they will understand rich people and uh, their family dynamics, I guess. What do we have here? Ruins Guide. What do we have here? Oh <sighs> man, this is my first luxury cruise. But there's no good food or expensive liquor on board. There are creatures all over the place, too. This is more like a horror movie than a cruise. It's like a ghost ship. Oh, yeah. Speaking of creatures, Cleone are what turn people into creatures, right? What exactly are they? They must be related to Mani somehow, since they can be transplanted using the Extend Machine. Haruto Higurashi glances at me. Unfortunately for him, I do not have the answer. I don't know. I do not know, but I am sure you are right. Mani made a little Cleone too? Your company's pretty amazing, Yuma. Hmm? Well, if that's true, the reason the world ended up like this is because of 
Be quiet. Be quiet, Leo. Whoa. Hey. What am I, a lion? You said it wrong on purpose. Look. I said quiet. Don't you hear that voice? What voice? What? Voice. Everyone listens carefully. I can't hear anything. We can hear the faint sound of waves along with it. <laughs> He's back. The motherfucker is back. This is not a safe place to be. <laughs> My fair lady. I wasn't expecting we'd be back so soon. The, the, that song. Cold sweat erupts from my body as fear rears its ugly face. No! No, no, no! Th there's something over there! Where? It's coming towards us! And we're just staying in place! Rinko Susukino points ahead. There he stands, just like the time we saw him at Mashiro Metro Plaza. Yeah! It's that same creature! Are we not gonna get the fuck out of here? Ah, uh, hello! Kurosuke, he's got a name now. You know, like, it's... He's been labeled. The creature roars as if in response. There is a sense of bloodlust so great, it is as if it means to kill us with the roar itself. Yeah. I guess we're going with Kurosuke, what, what uh, Sachika said when she was getting stabbed in the chest. Give me a break! I thought I lived in the underground plaza! You know... Maybe it followed us here. Zen looks ready for a fight, but we're a bunch of kids! Kurosuke! Uh, it knows Sachika by name. No way! He knows her name. So it really is after Sachika. Uh, can we just evacuate the premises right now? Where's the lifeboats? Get up, Sachika, run! And the rest of you, too. We can't let him kill us here. Yuma, lead us out of this here. Way. Okay, this way. We were taken by surprise. I visualize the escape route in my head as another thought appears in my mind. I mean, how can we visualize the escape route? This boat is literally sideways. I may be able to make use of that monster. We can. Got a key that says main floor B on it. Oh shit, it's about to charge. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Back it. I don't know, I was stuck. I was stuck in the corner. I just went straight for the escape option. But some people died. Shit. Looks like we got away. There was like nowhere to go. I was trapped. I was panicking. Yeah, but he might be nearby still. Not on Garage Island. Only Monokuma. Because it's Monokuma. Memphis is Garage Island, and he shouldn't even be here. We need to proceed carefully. I don't know what I want to do about that stuff I left behind. We're gonna have to get back there somehow. My, my. How shameful. I could hardly do anything but act as a wall for everyone else. Ain't your fault. Kurosuke is abnormally strong compared to the other creatures. You know. Maybe he's strong because of his intellect. Other creatures are physically strong and have the power of cloning. But they're pretty dumb. So, this one's got brains and brawn, huh? Kind of like an upgraded Dr. Mamoru. <laughs> <laughs> May not look it, but I did graduate from med school. Yeah, not right now, but you'll grow surprisingly buff in the next couple of days. He may catch up to us if we stay still for too long. Yuma, do you know of a route where we can lose him? I will try. Are you alright? Are you alright? You don't look so good. Yes. I just need to catch my breath from all the running, because I am plump and beautiful, as you know. It yeah. Uh, okay, then. I take a slow, deep breath. I must stay calm if I am to accomplish my mission. I put a lid on the emotions swelling inside me and bite my lips. Now, do it. You are a daughter of Mashiro. The daughter of Mashiro. So we lost Mamoru and we lost Sajiga. Death by Kurosuke. Okay, well, I mean, I think we can still accomplish the adult thing. It's just going to be Mamoru who's lagging because such is automatically an adult slash kid. Let's revive the two and uh, see if we can make our way back. Right before we head back, let's check out the ruins guide. We got the Bellamois key. Found a key that says main floor B on it. If this is B, there must be an A somewhere. Careful. It says main floor A on it and it seems to be locked. Okay, so that's A. We need to find the A key. What does the B key unlock then? The next destination is. All right, we're back. Ha, ha. And I almost got eaten. What the hell just happened to that freaking shark? Just like, fell through the floor. 
Everyone's an adult except for Mamoru. Which is regrettable. So let's quickly pick up our stuff. Figure out the other proper way out of here. There's something in the wooden box. Obtained fireworks. Okay. So there's the exit that way. Let's see if Kurosuke's still here. Okay, yeah. That looks like a date linked wall there. Hopefully no one dies. Please no one die. Nothing can oppose Mashira. Ooh, a claymore, a replica. Interesting. An actual sword. We're gonna be using. Someone's taking damage over there. We can leave that. I'm supposed Quickly to Quickly grab this. our shit and get I the hell out of Dodge. Back. This might be useful. Nice. There's my it. frying pan hammer, which I was been which I've been missing this entire time. Okay, there's nothing else here, right? Let's check the map. Yeah, just ran to an unfortunate dead that? end. Okay, let's move. So maybe Kurosuke only appears if we uh, linger around too long, sort of like the Reaper in uh, this, Persona right? 5. Ha! Jeez, the way out's blocked. Ha! Let's take. This. I don't know what to make of those sea beasts. They seem quite, you know, not intelligent. They don't really attack me. They just spin around in a circle. Mama is an adult. This is my chance. Okay, there we go. We've opened a back door. That's nice, at the very least. Okay, come on, let's head back to Garage Island. Oh, we still can. Phew, I think we made it. Just in time, come on. It's gotta work, right? Yeah. Get out of here, goat. This is our friendship time. That's right. Hey, what do you guys say we have some fun and go swimming for once? Yeah, as long as Kurosuke doesn't interrupt our swim, I'll be happy with it. We deserve some stress relief. Hey! Yes, please. I want to go play at the beach with everyone. Hey now, you Sachi. Shouldn't. You shouldn't accept invitations from creepy strangers so easily. Th hey! Who are you calling a creepy stranger? But... But even if we do go, we don't have any swimsuits. Hmm. Uh, Rio, are you planning to make us go naked? It's not like that. What kind of creep do you guys take me for? Take a look at this. But That's... is that? Hey! Swimsuits, obviously! <laughs> I took them from the underground shopping district in case we needed them someday. Amazing! Wow, Rio, you're so well prepared! Uh huh. I don't know. He's a little too well prepared. It's kind of weird. Yeah, you just had it in your backpack this entire time, waiting for a rainy day, or in this case, a sunny day. Oh no. Well, I think blowing off some steam at the beach isn't a bad idea. Don't worry, you can leave Rio to me. I'll keep an eye on him so he'll behave. If you say so, Dr. Ichio. Yay! Let's get changed then. Um. Hey, this doesn't look weird, does it? Yes. Not too worry. It looks nice on you. There's everyone. Woo! Oh my you god. You all look great. See, Haruto? My eye for swimsuits is never wrong. That's Haruto's swimsuit? It's literally just beach wear. Look at freaking Mamoru. This guy. What a daring costume that is. Girls look all nice, as, as uh, expected. Zen looks like he doesn't belong anywhere near a beach. He's got his farmer's hat still strung around his back. Uh huh? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, well, if Haruto really is a killer... <laughs> I mean, he looks like he could just replace Dixter in Miami. Please, don't look. Compared to the other girls, I... Rinko, you look fine. I mean, you all look fine. Don't worry, Rinko. You look incredible, too. Small ones are beautiful in their own way. Jeez, what a thing to say. The guys are all built, though, man. Uh, Rio, you... <laughs> no, really, I'm serious. Breasts are an integral component for bondage art. Why am I not surprised? When using the same binding method, different breast types can make a totally different piece. <laughs> hey, Rio. You're about to get pinned down by Minamo, which may be what you want, but, uh... Hopefully you get severely reprimanded for your actions. You know, the one I really want to tie up is Yuma. I gotta say, I'm a fan of his trunks. They look pretty cool. <laughs> Minamo is tempting too, but a thick body and bindings are supremely synergistic on a fundamental- She is going to sit on you. Yo, Mikajime, you are the last person I would pick from this group. Oof. Huh? Your muscle build, your skeletal structure, even your overall attractiveness as a male. I mean, I gotta say, I gotta rank Rio last in terms of the guys, you know. Mamoru is buff, but I'm more of a Zen guy, gotta say. 
you know, I respect Zen's looks. You are lacking in these qualities more than anyone here. <laughs> Why are you suddenly... If you are going to evaluate us, then we have the right to do the same to you. She's not wrong. Am I wrong? Uh, you're right. I'm sorry. I got a bit carried away. The only bondage you're going to be experiencing is bondage of your mouth <laughs> at this point. <laughs> if you gaze into an abyss, the abyss gazes back at you, right? Yeah. It's called Kurosuke. He stares right back at me real intent. I don't think that's quite right. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't apply in this situation. Well, you know, you can evaluate my muscles to your heart's content. I'm scared you might, like, suffocate someone with all the testosterone you're emanating there, Mamoru. Who want to do that? <laughs> 4,000 score points added to the extend machine. Well... That's a nice way to blow off some steam after getting stabbed by a gigantic hulking alien monster. All members must be alive, all members must be seniors. So oh, wow, there's another event that's just spawned over here. Well guys, you know what you gotta do. You gotta survive to seniorship. Uh, we took a bit of beating on the way back from the ship. Here's hoping we're gonna be okay heading back. <laughs>